Hi guys, I'm here with Gus and we are going to talk about a totally different way of trimming your dog's nails that I think all of you will really, really like. Okay, so we're here with Gus. We're just gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna show you what I'm using to do his nails. So nail clippers were not working. Um, one, because his nails are huge and they weren't even fitting inside of the clipper. Um, and the other option that a lot of people advise is a Dremel, which I actually really love. I use it on Teddy all the time, but the noise was scaring Gus. And, you know, yes, we could continue to work on that um, with some positive reinforcement training, things like that. But I thought to myself, you know what? Let's work smarter, not harder. Um, when I trim horses, I have a little saying, hi Ted, <laughs> that if I have to use my hoof nippers, which if you don't know what hoof nippers are, they are basically giant toenail clippers for horses. If I have to use my hoof nippers, I have waited too long to trim the hoof. So I thought to myself, why don't I apply that same principle to dogs and use these, okay? Ted, you're ruining my video. No, he's not. Ted, he's never ruined video. Come, come. Let the world see your beautifulness. Mwah. I love you all. Okay. So, initially, yeah, these nail files are going to take a little bit more time <laughs> to get the nails down to the proper length that I want them. <laughs> Ted. But, instead of waiting for... A the nail to grow out really long and then hacking it off really short, which can actually kind of distort how the animal walks if they're constantly going from really long to really short, really long to really short. Why not use a maintenance approach with some really heavy grip or grit, not grip, grit <laughs> nail files. So I picked these up <laughs> at Sally's Beauty Supply. This one, is a considered coarse 100 grit nail file and so these are like pretty much made for like acrylic nails and then this one is 120 grit still pretty coarse but it's a little bit on the finer side and i'm kind of using this to like buff out the edges so my plan is once we get the nails down to the proper length I just grab this, you know, maybe once a month and ch -ch -ch -ch. so instead of, like I said, allowing the nail to grow really long and then hacking it really short, we just maintain that length, recreating kind of that, that wild nail natural trimming that happens. Like when wolves are out and they're traveling long distances, they don't have that issue of a really long nail that like suddenly gets hacked short. Because they travel these long distances, their nails are naturally worn down and they don't ever get long. It's the same thing with horses in the wild. Their hooves, because they travel such distances in a day, are naturally worn down, so there's no need for a man to come in and trim them. So it's really trying to recreate more of a natural wear, and it's working out really, really well. So um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring Gus back over here, on how I approach this, and then hopefully you guys can do the same. I want to walk you guys through step by step how I would approach a dog like Gus who maybe had some trauma or, you know, some, some roughness from a groomer who doesn't even, you know, like their paws touched, okay? So we're going to use the principles of, of pressure and release just like we would with horses. No, stay here. Okay, so first thing, as long as your dog can tolerate being petted, this is going to work, okay? So you're patting and you come down and you just kind of brush past the paw, okay? Yep, that's all you do. And you're petting and you brush past the paw for one, two seconds, take it away. And you're petting and you brush past the paw for one, two, three seconds and you take it away. Four seconds, take it away. Five seconds. So build over time. And this is a process that might take a few days, okay? 
And when you get to the point where you can rest your hand on the paw for about 10 seconds, you're going to move on to the next step, which is actually touching the nails. Okay, so touch the nail. Take it away. Touch the nail. Take it away. Once you get to the nail, touch the nail, maybe wiggle it a little bit. Take it away. Okay? And keep adding time to that. And this is also, this is all done without treats. This is working well below his threshold. We're not doing anything that's really bothersome to him. Okay? And then we move on to the actual nail file. This wasn't even an issue. As soon as, like, Gus understood that, like, this doesn't hurt, um, it doesn't make a noise, he didn't care at all. Like, no training was even needed to use this file on him. So, like, I mean, why wouldn't I want to do this? Oh, buddy. You're a good boy. Okay, so let's show the fine people how we do your nail. All right. And we just start filing. And he pulled it away. That's fine. And I, I did do an entire nail yesterday, so I know that he's okay with it. Bring it back. And it's totally fine, like, I mean, if they fidget a little bit. But, I mean, if you can see, like, he's not trying to get up. Yeah, he may pull his foot away a little bit. But, like, I mean, does this dog look stressed out by this? No. So, you know, work smarter, not harder. Okay? So, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go ahead and finish this nail. Um, actually, let me show you the nail up close. And then I'll show you the after. All right, please excuse the hair on the carpet. I have a St. Bernard. <laughs> okay, so here's the nail I'm going to work on. If you can see about right there, that's where the quick ends. And there's like a little notch in the nail right there. I think I'm going to take it right to that spot. Okay, so let me work on this nail, and then I'll show you the after. So I think we'll stop there for today, but that's the finished nail. See how it looks nice and rounded and no sharp edges. Looks really good. And uh, here's the final result of the Gus. After one nail, he doesn't care about anything. He's super chill. So like I said, you know, it's all about working smarter, not harder. And yeah, I get that it's going to take me a little bit longer time for each of these nails because they are kind of long right now. So I'm just doing one nail a day and I don't care that it's going to take me 20 days to get them done because afterwards, then it's just about, you know, quick little touch up month by month with the files. So why not keep your animal de-stressed, you know, make it a relaxing process that they don't care about because in the long run, I think this kind of stuff, is what builds their trust in you, seeing you as a reliable leader that never does anything to purposely stress them or scare them. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and let me know if you guys try this. I really hope it helps. Obviously, Gus likes it. Okay, bye.